Hi, thank you for joining me. You're so greatly appreciated. I hope you are having a great day. I also hope you enjoyed this video content. Please hit that thumbs up for me. Please give me some thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe if you feel led. Totally free for you and greatly appreciated by me. Okay. So today's video title is going to be Answer the Call. Don't run from the call. Answer the call. Don't run from the call. And I kind of just wanted to talk, give you an example for like myself. Um, when I first got the call, when I was like, me, you know? And in other videos, I'm just gonna repeat this because there may be some people who haven't watched these videos. You may have heard me talk about how like I was saying, kind of like comparing myself, and I'm not saying I'm like Moses, obviously not, but I was kind of comparing myself to Moses because I was, you know how Moses was saying he didn't have good speech and I'm like, I'm not well-versed. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not technically savvy, you know? Um, And so I had a lot of excuses and reasons why I didn't think that I would be good at um, the tasks that God commanded me to do. And then I was kind of like Jonah who ran, you know, and tried to hide. And then God put him in the well for three days. And I tried to run from it. And I, I'm sure some of you may be feeling this or going through these same things, you know. It's because it's like we don't believe in ourselves or we may not think we're worthy of the task at hand or call. And um, some of you may even feel like Neo, you know what I mean? In the Matrix, like, and I don't own copyrights or anything. I'm just making an example. <laughs> um, you, some of you may feel like Neo, you know, um, because, you know, when he got called, and he even went back at one point, you know, he tried to go back to his job and then the agents um, went looking for him there. And then, you know, Morpheus helped him out. So just understand that, like, I know it's not easy. You got to believe in the call, you know, you got to believe in yourself. You got to like, know that, like, when I mean by believe in the call, like you got to know that God is with you like it's not just you you know what I mean it's not just you and that makes it a little bit easier like for you to do it to answer the call because it's not just you it's like when I think about this stuff in these title you know the stuff that I come up that he gives me to put on here I couldn't think of this stuff this definitely isn't me this is like way beyond anything I would be thinking of or so, you know, all glory to God and um, just believe in yourself like he believes in you, you know, you are worthy, you know. And I kind of was like, during this process, you have super, super highs and you have super, super lows, you know what I mean? It's like peaks and valleys and it's like, like a roller coaster ride, you know, it's like you're on a roller coaster ride. And I don't really like roller coaster rides, but like, you know, it's kind of like that. You know, you have those ups and downs and twirls and twists and, you know, you go through that through the in this process and that's okay. And you know what I do like is those like log rides, you know, you go way up and then you come down super fast and then all the water splashes on you and especially in the summertime, it like cools you down. That's fun. I like that. And like the, the swings, I think they call them the yo-yos. Oh, I like those. I feel like you could just spread your wings and fly and kick your feet. It's kind of like that. You know, you, you sometimes you feel like you're going in circles. You know, and it's not always an easy process. But that's okay. And you're going to get to like, some roadblocks you're gonna hit some hurdles and some people can like fly and leap over those hurdles and some people jump over those hurdles and some people straddle those hurdles <laughs> and that's okay 
we all are different how we approach things and how we handle things and how we go through things and how we respond to things. And that's okay. And so through the process, like give yourself some grace. Don't be so hard on yourself. And know that you're being supported, you know? Because it's not just you. God's with you. And he wouldn't have you like, God wouldn't have you, he wouldn't put you in a position that he knows you cannot handle or do. It's like, God's already cleared the path. He's walking beside you. He's walking behind you. Like, God knows that you can do it. You just got to apply yourself and commit. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's not always easy. No, it's not always easy. But that's part of the process. And it's like a learning curve, you know? It's a learning curve. And you can do it. You'll get through it. And through that learning curve, like, you you know, you learn to like, you learn so many things, of course, but you learn to like believe in yourself more. You learn how much you really are supported, you know? You learn that you can do the task at hand. And a lot of times, like, we don't understand or see, you know, God has bigger plans than we can ever imagine, like. He believes in us and has plans for us that are, that we don't can't even think about, that we don't even know we want. And through the process, you've got to understand that, yes, you're going to have super, super highs where you feel like you could fly. I mean, there'll be times where you feel like you could literally fly. And then there's going to be times where you got to pull yourself. You got to feel like you got to pull yourself out of that gutter. You know, you got to pull yourself out of that gutter. And you can do it because you are really supported. Even if you feel like you're by yourself, you are not by yourself. You are not alone through the process. You are being supported. And you can do it. I really just wanted to come on here and like encourage whoever may be going through some of these things. That like you're not alone and you are supported and you can do that. Like believe in yourself. You are worthy. Just apply yourself and commit. Make that first step. You know, work with what you have. Start with what you have. You know, you make that step and God will make two. So I hope that helps whoever may be in need of it. So again, it's answer the call. Don't run from the call. Because when you run from the call, it makes things like you're delaying things and you're making things so much harder. It's like you're resisting. When you resist it, it makes things so much harder. Like it's easier. And I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I did it. That's why I'm coming on here telling you this now. When you resist it, it's like it makes things so much harder. You start to go through so many more things and challenges and delays and roadblocks and stuff that that you, you could have, you know, made a little bit easier on the path if you would have just accepted that call, accepted the process. So please don't resist as much as possible. Accept, you know, accept, accept that call. OK, and there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. And just remember, like, God is in control. God is in control. Like, God's going to get what he wants in the end. Like, you know, so it's better for you to do it sooner than later, you know. And really, he wants the best for you. It's I know it's during the process. It's like so hard to see. And even when you go through things like things that you wanted that just didn't work out for you or like things that you've lost that you have worked so, so hard for, you know, so hard for, for years, for decades, you know, for some of you, um, even when you go through that loss and, you know, you're not understanding like, dang, you know, I thought I was being supported or, um, why did I lose this? Or why did it happen this way? Or, you know, I'm not understanding, like, I know it's hard, but you got to lean not on your own understanding sometimes during this process. Because, like, later, a lot of times it will come to you, like, after the process, you know, then you'll see, oh, this is what God was doing. 
oh, I get it now. You know what I'm saying? You'll be like, oh, that's why that happened. Like, it's so that you can learn things and grow and have strength and believe in yourself. And, and you know, some of us build your faith stronger and your trust stronger in God. And, um, you know, reasons like that. So I know a lot of, when I first started, I would watch a video in this, this one influencer, and he's really good. He would say things like, enjoy the journey and enjoy the process. And I'd be like, how can I enjoy this? Like, how can I enjoy losing everything I love and work so hard for to build and to have and etc." And then I got to a point where I was like, you know, I, it would trigger me. It would trigger me when he said that. And a lot of times when things trigger you, it's because it's like, it's something you need to like work on or understand or heal from, et cetera, you know? And it would trigger me. And I'd be like, how could I understand? But I loved his content. I'm not saying he was wrong. Obviously, he was right. Love his content. It's encouraging. And um, I'd be like, how can I, you know, appreciate the process when I'm losing everything and I'm so hurt and I've worked so hard for these things. These things weren't given to me, you know, and that's where, where, again, you have to lean not on your own understanding. And I got finally to the point where I was like, oh, I totally get it now, you know? Ooh, that's weird. You guys hear that? The timer? Ooh, confirmation. And it's like, um, I really had to get, and then I got to the point where I was like, dang, I get it now. Like, yeah, you do. As hard as it is, and I know you're hurt, and it's okay to be hurt by the things. I'm not saying that you're not human and you can't hurt, you know, excuse me, those things. Totally get that because I was there. But like, then I got to a point where it's like, you know, after, and you're like, oh, yeah. Because through the pain, you like really gain a lot of knowledge wisdom, strength. You really learn to appreciate the smaller things in life and like value, you value things so much more. And it's such a learning curve and process in so many ways. It helps you build your faith and trust in God so much more. And so I really just wanted to come on here and say, it, even if it's not as easy to enjoy the process, you'll get to that point where you do. And you'll be like, oh, okay, there's a lesson to be learned in here, you know? And then, and then you're like, I get it now. Okay, I get it. So just allow yourself grace and don't be so hard on yourself. And I understand that through the process, you're going to have highs and lows, peaks and valleys. And that at times you may not understand why you're going through those things, but really try to dig deep through that process. And one, sometimes just lean not on your own understanding to help you get it through it. And two, also try to learn whatever lesson or value there is that God's trying to teach you through the process. And three, try to enjoy the journey because we're always trying to like get like, what does God have planned for me? Or what does God want me to figure out? Or what does God have for me at the end of all this? Like, what's the end goal? You know, what's the end goal? What's the, what am I going to get out of this? You know, but, but a lot of us miss the journey, the, the blessings, the small things that grow into the big things during the process. We like miss that during this, during the journey because we're so focused on that end result. We're so focused on that end result that we learn, we forget how much we've grown during the process, how much we've learned during the process, how much the process has really like changed us for the better. So really, really do try to enjoy the process as much as possible because when it's over, you're going to be like, oh, I wish I would have enjoyed these things a little bit more during those times. Oh, I, you know, I see how much I've grown now. Wow. You know, things of that matter. 
Okay, so... Okay, so this is Matthew 12, verse 40 through 41 in the KJV version. And it says, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three... It was Jonas. Sorry if I said Jonah. Sorry. It's Jonas if I was wrong. I apologize. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And then this is verse 41. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. And then I have Matthew chapter 12, verse 31 and 32, KJV again. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. And then I wrote 33 as well. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. Yes. So I always say, always please test any Test the spirit on any messages that you get from myself or anyone else that you may listen to. Another thing that I wanted to say and point out, please, is that um, a lot of times like when God will send you notifications or um, recommendations, like sometimes you'll feel, feel called to them. And sometimes they're from God and you'll know by like, does it match up to the Bible and um, sometimes you got to be careful because that's why you got to always pray and ask for discernment and wisdom because sometimes at the same time, the enemy will use those same tactics to try to get your attention. And remember the enemy is a copycat and he is a counterfeit. So like always test the spirit on any notifications or recommendations or whatever you may be called to because you know if it's from God it's gonna you know it's gonna match up to the Bible and his word and everything and if it's from the enemy it's gonna be the opposite you know it's not gonna match up to God's word so in the Bible so um and or the promises and stuff that he's made to you so just please always be careful with what you're like watching or gathering in your energy or any entertaining yourself and whatnot and test the spirit on that because you know that will help you know if this is like from God or the enemy because you know he speaks to us in so many ways it could be from prophetic messages notifications that you get or it's on your like recommendations when you're um, scrolling on you know your YouTube channel or feed it could be through music movies people um, you know, numbers, animals, mo um, a sh shows you're watching, just a lot of different ways. So just please always test the spirit on it, okay? And um, I just wanted to thank you all for joining me, Spiritual Seeker. You're so greatly appreciated. All glory to God. I greatly appreciate all the beautiful and kind comments that you guys are giving me. Thank you so much, but all glory to God. Um, and I am thankful for them, though. I really appreciate them, and I appreciate you guys so very much. And I'm just thankful to have you guys with this journey, and we are one. We're a family, and you are so greatly appreciated. I hope you guys all have a blessed and wonderful day. Prayers and blessings to all. Bye.